was born in Florence, Italy, May 8, 1820. I was a rich little girl who heard a voice that, who lived in a grand English house in the summer. One day, while I was sitting in my favorite spot between two trees, I heard a voice from God saying, You will serve for the ones in need. But here was one problem. My mother and father wanted me to marry a rich man and have a good life. But still I followed God. When I left my family to go work in wars, I had reached a war with my nurses. I realized they had no beds. Soon I bought with my own money. I bought beds, blankets, medicines, healthy foods, and towels. The doctors didn't want me to help, but during the night I couldn't stop thinking to help and by morning they would feel better. So the doctors and nurses didn't like me at all. They thought I was bossy and the doctors were jealous of how I was good with the patients. But still as the men got better, the more empty the room got. But I moved on and I was planning to go to the Crimean War in Russia. But the problem was they thought I didn't know anything about germs, so I had to go to Egypt to learn about germs. Then the English permitted me to, to the war. While I was there, I noticed they did not know of germs, so lots of them were dying. I helped them, and thousands got better. After a while, I opened the school for people who shared my dream as being nurses. I kept on helping until I was very old, which I mostly played with my three cats. <laughs> then in London, England, I died on August 13, 1910. And that's the life story of my life. You want to share why you chose Florence Nightingale? Um, I don't know. You don't know? You saw a book and interested you? Great.